What's going on everybody and welcome back. So in this one we're going to work on the Civic again. I got a couple of things I want to do. Uh, number one, get the water out of the trunk because it's still leaking. <clears throat> that little striker trick I did did not work. It is totally standing water in there. It's sloshing when I drive and I can hear it. So <laughs> that's not good. So we're going to fix that. Uh, or at least we're going to clean the water out again. But I'm going to need to do something about that. Got to look for a new trunk seal. If I know how to pull the trunk down a little bit, it's better, but it's still obviously not sealing. I think it's the snow that uh, is doing it to me. So, yeah, I'm just going to work on changing the transmission fluid today, though. That's my big goal. I also have an exhaust leak here. I want to try to get the gasket for the exhaust. But I'm sure everything's going to break, so that's going to be a fun project to do. Um, might be nice to just do like a nice exhaust reseal on the manifold. And on the downpipe, so I don't know if I'm going to do that right away or if I'm going to wait. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. Um, just a little exhaust smell going on. But it seems like it's only down here. I saw it on the lift. It's like this gasket's blown out down here. So I'm going to try to locate that gasket and see if I can get one. Anyway, I got the manual transmission fluid right from Honda. And I want to see if there's a way I can add the fluid in the top. There's a little vent line there. Um, I'm looking for like a speed sensor. I see one in the back there. I'm wondering if I can pull the speed sensor out to add the fluid with a funnel because I don't really have the necessary stuff to squirt it in. Like usually it's nice to have a syringe to do something like this. So I'm going to look around and see if I can pull that speed sensor out and add the fluid in there. That might be a better way to add it in. I know that some people do that. So yeah, going to give that a shot. A little, a little speed sensor trick. And otherwise, yeah, I'm just gonna jack this thing up on a level level jack stands, try to make it nice and straight so I can make set the level good. And I can't wait to see how nasty it comes out because I know this stuff has not been changed probably ever in this car at almost 200,000 miles, so it's well in need. So, this is the top of the trans, that's where the passenger axle goes in down there. So if I can get it to focus, that right here is the fill plug, I believe, is this guy right here. Um, so I'm going to have to pull that out anyway in order to set the level, but I think this guy, which if I move this coolant hose, you should be able to see it in here. That guy, where it's not focusing, is the speed sensor. So I took the connector off the top of him and I cleaned the surrounding area down there. And I'm going to take this, this 10 out over here and hopefully I can get the speed sensor out. If I get this thing to focus correctly, that would be sweet. Yeah, so hopefully I can get that speed sensor out of there and fill it through that with a funnel. That'd be a win. I don't know if that's going to happen though. I can always try to fill it through the fill plug too. But uh, let's see what kind of opening we have if we take that out. So we are under the vehicle, and I just want to say that uh, the oil leak is pretty much resolved. This whole side of the transmission was dripping with oil, and that was all because of that VTEC gasket. So that really worked like a charm. Um, I was able to get this one loose from up top. This is our 17 fill plug. So I think I'm just going to fill it through there just because of uh, the difficulty. So I'm going to loosen this as the drain plug. I want to see what comes out of here. It's going to be nasty. But i uh, got a few more things to do on here. The subframe's kind of rusty, and i got a couple more oil leaks and exhaust leaks. So i got got a good amount of stuff to do to it, but all in good time. I'm happy that I minimized the oil leak now. The whole oil pan was full of oil. There really was a lot of oil in this thing. Um, I had cleaned it off when I got it and did the oil change, and it dripped all crazy again. And so then after I did the uh, VTEC gasket, I haven't cleaned it, and it's it's been really good. So I think that was it. There's still possibly a rear main leak, it looks like, uh, which is said to have been done by the service records, so we'll see about that. Um, and also, maybe another oil leak on the, the back of the engine, I'm not sure what that is, but yeah, overall, it's looking really nice under here. I'm, I'm happy, so I'm ready to uh, blast these plugs out, and uh, we'll see what comes out of this thing. Hopefully it's not too low. I'm going to take the fill plug out first. I doubt there'll be any fluid that comes out of here. It is lean back though, it's my only thing. So maybe it'll come out. I may want to jack the back up to get the remainder of the fluid out. So we'll see how that goes. 
Let's see if I can get this loose. That 17 was unbelievably tight. I don't know if that was from the factory. It's never been changed. Or what? Ouch. I <laughs> just missed. Alright. Oh, that wasn't that bad. Okay. Oh, I totally smashed my knuckle on the transmission. That was sick. Let's see if we can get some better lighting over here. Shoot that far. It looks clean. Well, that's good. That is good. So it has been changed. Good. <laughs> I don't feel as as worried knowing that it's been changed. So I'll pull the fill plug off. It does look like maybe it's low though. Here we go. Now let me pull the fill plug out. Now it's coming. Oh, almost hit my arm. I guess you gotta do that to get it to drain good. A little stinky. Not too bad though, really. I think it was nastier coming out of the Accord. <clears throat> this guy actually took care of this thing, so good to see. Good to see. So I think I'm gonna jack the back up, get the remainder out, and I'll try to level the rear end um, so we can get a nice, um, the correct amount of fluid in this thing. I'm gonna let this thing dribble. All right. So I know everybody's got a big idea on how to do this. Plenty of different ways. I prefer the syringe method. I don't have that here. I ordered one for home use, but not coming yet. So I just stuck this tube in there and hopefully that stays in there and it runs up here. I got my little funnel zip tied up here to the air box, so I won't lose it. So I'm just gonna try to send the fluid in there. It may take a while, but got the pan underneath and it should drip out. So we'll see how this drip, see how this goes. I had this sitting on the shelf since I did the Accord, so might as well use this out. This is probably going to be the 0.7. And then, uh, I bought two more today, so I'll have probably a full one chilling. This is nice. So now we got to try to get it in there. Oh yeah, this is pretty clear. This is working great. See? There's nothing wrong with doing it this way, a little funnel, a little hose. You just got to have that piece of hose there. And a little funnel. But just watch out that you don't overfill it, because it does start to back up in the funnel. But it's definitely taking it. So we're just going to go until it comes out, down low. And then we'll let it continue to, continue to drip. It should be all set. If you can see it dripping or hear it. It's dripping though. That's it. So we're full. We'll just I'm gonna pull that hose out. Just let it keep dripping. And we should be all set. I had to dip into the last quart that I had, unfortunately. Oh well. So I got the new batteries in the camera, they died. But yeah, if you, if you look at this fluid here, I had some other stuff in there, but you know, th this fluid looks, it looks pretty dirty. It looks dirtier than I thought it was. So maybe it hasn't been changed. It looked clean coming out, but it never looks clean in the pan. So yeah, hopefully my shifts are a little bit uh, easier and it goes, I mean, I always had problems in the Accord going into reverse and then I changed the fluid and I felt like it got better, so. Hopefully I experience similar benefits here. Either way, it's good to do. It's maintenance. We did the fuel filter. We did the trans fluid. Uh, I did a little power steering flush. I'd like to do that again. I like to do brake fluid. Clutch fluid's all been changed because I put the uh, 
new master cylinder in there or a new slave cylinder so we bled the whole thing out so that's been changed so brake fluid flush power steering flush and we're, we're pretty much good coolant needs a coolant flush too um, I'm sure I'll end up doing something coolant system related on it at some point but I'd like to try to drain the cooling system at some point maybe drain the radiator and uh, you know get some new coolant in here just because it's good to do but uh, yeah anyway otherwise it's good it's doing good I'd like to put a new thermostat so I think the next thing I'm gonna do is get a new thermostat because this thing it like cools down in the morning like it's warming up and then it cools down so I don't know if the tea stat's stuck open or what but it probably should warm up a little bit faster so it's worth maybe putting a new thermostat in there just to try that and see if it makes it any better in the winter but yeah otherwise we're doing pretty good under here maintenance I think is all complete for the most part so I'll let you guys know how this thing shifts and uh, after a couple days of driving it so something else I wanted to mess with I wanted to see what this what the free play is on the pedal this this thr this throttle spring is just so stiff on this thing and I think that's just how it is you know like it really is stiff I thought maybe this cable could be loosened a little bit but it seems like it has the adequate slack in it and I don't think the resistance is is in you know the the cable itself I think it's just in the throttle blade so I just got to get used to driving something. I think the Accord is way easier to push the pedal. That's just in my opinion. But maybe you guys will agree or not. I'm not sure uh, how many of you guys have had both. But it seems different to me. It's harder. Uh, so based on that, yeah, that's. I think we're doing pretty good. I'd like to do a timing belt on it. That's That's a big question mark here as far as service goes. I don't know what it looks like. I could take off this inspection cover. I probably will at some point. It's just a few... A few tens and then the inspection cover comes off and I'd like to see what it looks like in there just because you know who knows what the belt looks like I know it's probably been 50,000 miles since it was changed so it's probably due so that's coming up soon but I'm enjoying driving it right now so we're just gonna put it back on the ground so that's gonna wrap it up for this video guys I'm filming an outro later on the car's been back on the road for a while now and it's been doing good um, no issues with the trans I think it's a little bit better still hard to get in reverse at times. That's just how these things are. Uh, the synchros don't, something's not lining up. You just gotta kinda throw it into a different gear and then slap it in reverse pretty hard. I don't know if that's common. I think it must be because I have that problem in my Accord too with these higher mileage transmissions. So I don't think it's a huge deal. Uh, I'm willing to live with it. Uh, it still does go in reverse, but if you don't get it quite in reverse, it'll grind sometimes. So you just gotta be aware of that. But the fluid changed. Uh, you know, it cannot hurt, so I'm happy that I did it, and it's been running good. So I have, like, the exhaust gaskets to do that, so I'll be doing that soon. I'll probably do it at work, though, because it's easier. And I got a turbo on order for the Accord. So there is what remains of the other turbo. It's uh, off to the crusher. This thing's going to be ripping soon, so as soon as that new turbo gets here, I'll, I'll put it on. And hopefully we have, um, you know... The cord back on the road. It's uh, still winter, but pretty soon we'll be able to get this thing back up and running, I think. I don't know. Hopefully it doesn't snow that much this year. Um, anyway, thank you guys for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more content.